Hello and welcome to my new video. If you're new to my channel, hello, I'm Lex and this is Lost Falls. Today I'm going to be making a miniature cat neighborhood for Kiki and Rosie, who are my only remaining cats without like designated residential areas. I've laid out all of the furniture on the beach, so I'll run through that so that you can get an idea of the aesthetic we're going for here. Kiki gives me very warm brown autumn vibes, but Rosie gives me like pink vibes. It's definitely her house. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to ignore the fact that my theme is like mom and heavily autumn, and I'm gonna give Rosie white and pink items and plants. So yeah, does it look as great in autumn as it probably would in spring or winter? No, but I think Rosie deserves the pink flowers. So I hope you enjoy this video and yeah, I'll pop in from time to time to tell you my thought process. I'm extending the land here so that I can place a bridge so that there will be like a double bridge effect in the photos I take since there's a bridge right above this level where Gonzo and Blair's houses are. So yeah, I just think it'll be cute to have that double bridge dynamic even though they're on separate levels. I decide to make a mini island here. I'm gonna put a tree or two and some shrubs and flowers, not in this video because that's not the focus for this one. But yeah, I wanted to go ahead and start getting that shape together. I think it'll be pretty cute and it'll add depth to this like little river that I've got going on. But yeah, the main focuses here are gonna be the bridges I wanna build and the houses. If you remember from my campsite video, I mentioned how I had this really small alcove back here and it just seemed like the perfect size for a residential area that was very small. So I figured like the most cozy villager on my island was probably Kiki. Like she seems like she would appreciate having this, you know, small space over here. I think the biggest challenge with decorating such a small area was making it feel cozy and not cluttered because when I have bigger spaces I can do more work with paths and with trees to fill up space but in this area I could really only work with furniture so I had to figure out how to create a balance here between furniture, custom designs, etc so that it would feel like a home and not like I just scattered stuff on the ground. hobby is reading and she's an aspiring writer so you know I had to give her a tiny library so that she could read near her house. I just feel like she's the type who would sit in her rocking chair for hours reading. I've always given her a rocking chair on all the islands I've had. Daily. 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 
this whole residential area sprang from this idea right here that I had, which was to have a beautiful statue right in front of my waterfall. And that's why I placed the bridge where I did so that when you cross it, you have the view of the beautiful statue. Pretty much this whole area just came out of that one small detail that I knew I wanted to add. This is where I'm putting Rosie's house so that I have a lot of space for peach trees. I just, like I said at the beginning of the video, she gives me big pink vibes. So I'm giving her the pink fruit and everything else that is pink themed. I wish it was spring. I wish it was cherry blossom season, but the autumn leaves will just have to do for now. Here you'll notice a new design code that wasn't previously in my design list. I decided to replace one of the codes that I didn't really have any ideas for, so I'll put the code up on the screen for you all. And I do that with one other design in this video, the white flowers are new, so I'm gonna put those, the code for those up as well. I really just decided to ignore my island theme for this build, honestly, at least near Rosie's house, because I've also never used this stone path anywhere on Lost Falls. But I don't know, I thought it was cute here. You can disagree, that's okay. But yeah, I just kind of disregarded my theme because this is what I wanted for Rosie and that's okay to do. You should never feel pressured to adhere to your own theme. like. Make your island what you want it to be. I've had this land bridge for like ages and I decided to get rid of it today because I'm going to put a bridge that leads straight to Rosie's house. So yeah, really branching out and moving up in the world. Also, here I am actually shaping this into an island as promised. Where I'm standing now is where the bridge is eventually going to be when I place it and I want to link the bridge to the beach as well, the one that's like all the way to the left. So yeah, I need to figure out how to link this area both to this incline and to the beach because I want to have like a little like seating area 
in the middle here. You'll see what I mean. I leave space at the very edge of the river because I want to alternate shrubs and fences the way I always do. And I'm going to put a mum cushion out in the water just so it has a little bit of spice, a little bit of flavor, I don't know. Kiki's area is officially complete after this leaf pile is added, so now I'm just focusing on Rosie. This area was so awkwardly like sized and shaped that it was really hard to figure out a pattern for the trees and for the plants that didn't clash or look cluttered, especially because I'm attempting to use pink flowers in the middle of autumn, which is like possibly the worst time in the year for pink flowers, but you know what? The seasons can't stop Lex. I have to add a lucky cat to this neighborhood because it is my little cat residential area so of course had to place my favorite Gulliver item. I was determined to use the white customization for the trees bounty arch. Let me know if you think it works. I just could not bear the idea of not being able to incorporate it. But if you think it looks ugly in this little plaza I'm creating, please just tell me so I can replace it with something cute.
point, I'm just adding decor to fill the space. You already know if you watch my videos, I prefer to use plants, custom designs, and the smaller furniture items like log stakes to fill random space like this. So yeah, I'm just trying to figure out a way to make that work together seamlessly and not feel cluttered in front of Rosie's house too. I decided to just go crazy and use every single pink flower I've procured during my time on Lost Falls. So yeah, this is all of them. All the pink flowers I had except for the Cosmos because they're an ugly shade of pink in my opinion. And here we are at the end of the video and I'm about to do my walkthrough. Here is my final map for the day. We're getting dangerously close to being done with Lost Falls. But yeah, enjoy this little video montage of the new area. I don't know what was going on, but this butterfly do be glitching. Also, I had to stop because Cat was making a funny face. Thank you so much for watching to the end. I hope you enjoyed this build and that it was inspiring or at the very least entertaining. Of course, before I head out, here is my little sister, Peaches. I love you guys so much and thank you for letting us hit 12,000.